Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today I felt like making a different video than I normally make. Like yesterday I made my Slayer video so um, I thought like you know I could change it up and uh, make a little different type of video today. So here we go. So as you can see in my inventory there are a lot of my uh, farming stuff like my 24,000 coconuts, uh, a little bit over 3,600 cactus spines, over 8,000 morcella mushrooms, uh, and then uh, seaweed and potato cactus. So um, I have farmed these since January, and that's why it's in the title. So um, all of this has come from uh, just my big runs throughout, uh, you know, just time, just by doing those. And uh, a lot of the days, you know, I didn't do these. Um, for sure, I did like cactuses and uh, morcellas for the most part. Um, well, actually, scratch that. I missed a lot of my cactuses early on. Like, I don't know why I didn't do it. But uh, for sure, coconuts, I did every single day at least once. Um, so that's why I have so many. I have 24,000. And my original plan was to have 100,000 coconuts and then sell everything then. Um, like this entire f five different item stack kind of thing. Once I hit 100,000 coconuts, and it'd be tons of money, as you guys can see. Um, but I kind of changed that plan because I do need to buy a lot of magic seeds soon. Um, actually, I'm going to buy them in this video, but I'll get into that in a few minutes. But um, you know the new Elf City kind of thing? They added one more uh, tree patch, so that means I can do six trees every single run. So that means I'll probably do like 12 a day, uh, 12 to 18 per day, depending. Um, that will definitely reduce my stack of use really fast, and I'm already running out. I'm at like 150 or something, so I do need an alternative. And it's actually cheaper right now to do magics rather than use uh, without payment. Um, it actually might be better to do use, but either way, magics are still faster, and I'd rather do that, and it's not that much more money. And my plan is to buy 1,200 magics, uh, magic seeds, that is, and I think that's a good goal, because that'll be 200 runs, and let's say I do two per day on average, uh, that means I will definitely be done within 100 days uh, of uh, buying this. That means a little bit before or a little bit after New Year's I should be done with this and that also means I might be uh, 120 farm by then because this uh, one like 1200 magics if I do uh, let, let's say tw uh, 1000 make it through and don't die because I won't be paying for them I won't be using coconuts uh, because it's a lot cheaper and coconuts are very expensive right now. I mean, they're they're always been they've always been expensive But yeah, you know you get my point, but um, if let's say 1,000 uh, make it through and I get a thousand uh, times experience or whatever uh, That would be 14 million experience basically and I'm already let's say uh, look at this Okay, 65 million farming right there. So add 14 to that that'd be 79 and within that time span I can probably get around 20 million or so um, from other methods and stuff from like war bands, uh, herbs, all that kind of stuff. So definitely, I think by the uh, you know a little bit after New Year's, I could maybe get 120 farming. Um, there is going to be like a nine to ten day stretch in December where I won't be playing like at all. I will be probably doing farm runs and stuff. So I mean, it's kind of irrele uh, yeah, irrelevant to this uh, whole entire thing. But uh, I'm having uh, winter break. Like, think I'm going down to Arizona f in mid-December. So yeah, whatever. That's kind of besides the point. And I know I'm all over the place this video, but uh, you know, I just felt like this is, you know, a really important thing and I don't want you guys to miss it So I know it's a lot of talking. Let's just go into it because you guys probably have already been bored uh, from me talking but uh, Let's just price check and show you guys uh, How much I did make in about nine months with just these five items. This does not include herbs doesn't include uh, Anything else that I do for farming for profit like grapevines So um, on top of this I'm making hundreds of mills and stuff like that um, with farming as well, so this is just nine months of this uh, of just this really easy collecting stuff And it does give you decent experience as well over time Definitely this is this is gonna show you guys why you don't skip these kind of things on farm runs So uh, let's see what it is. So everything together is hundred and seventy five mil and uh, you might be thinking oh my god That's like nothing Tyler 175 mil in nine months. That's pretty shitty, but think about it this way I mean, I'm I, I would have farmed anyways like the farming every day and stuff and all the time really doesn't affect me uh, Time wise and stuff because I I like doing farming. It's relaxing and I would do it anyways, so uh, regardless of the 175 mil. So I mean to me it's kind of like a bonus But I guess like for other people farming might be a chore and I, I can see why this would not be that plausible to do in terms of like money per hour and you you know you can just go to Virago or Rise of the Six or God Wars and make this you know in a few weeks or something, but honestly 
Uh, I'd rather do it this way because you do get farming experience and uh, it just adds up. Like you can already still do the uh, PVM on the side while I do or while you do this. So, so another reason why I'm selling this like right now instead of later, like when I hit 100,000 uh, coconuts, is because the Morcella mushrooms are very expensive right now compared to what they're usually at. They're usually at like a flat 6k, but right now they're around 6,900 in the GE I checked. So. Um, that's because of the Elf City and uh, new payments and stuff, but uh, let's just sell everything and uh, let's uh, see what I can get. And, you know, it's not going to sell right away because I have so many, but uh, let's go for the coconuts first. Let's put it at a, you know, let's go med. Let's see if it sells. Uh, so it looks like half of them sold like pretty much instantly. I don't know if that was uh, more money per than 35 70, uh, 77 but... Uh, we'll see when it, you know, sells more. As for the uh, cactus spines, I will drop it down to 4250 because, you know, there's not that many. So if I drop it down a little bit, it won't affect me that much. And uh, it does make it insta sell for 15.368. So basically, they did sell for 4250 each. That isn't too bad. Uh, for seaweed, I do have to sell them for 299 or a little bit more. But I will go for 299 uh, flat. And it looks like most of them sold. So uh, I can stick that in there and wait for that. Uh, for the Marcellas, I'm going to do 6899 because they did sell for 6900 for me, and one GP is not going to make a big difference, and I'll just make them sell a little bit faster, but um, it did take a little bit to sell for that price, so I will leave them in there and just wait until they actually sell. As for the Potato Cactus, I'm going to try maybe 2750 I think that's a good price because uh, I, I tried like dropping it down by 10%, and it was just not doing anything. Uh, so it it sells for 2750 actually a little bit more actually a lot more 800k more than this uh, I don't know how much that is maybe like 2900 something like that uh, I'm pretty happy with that uh, as for the seaweed take that it's done coconuts uh, it's just selling slowly and the morcellas are just not selling they're just you know I'm just gonna wait it out uh, I will be back to see if uh, they do actually sell um, and if they don't I will just drop them down and I'll meet you guys when they're both done so I finished selling the re uh, the remaining coconuts. I did sell like, uh, I don't know, 25 mil worth or something. So a big amount for 35.55. So uh, that was pretty nice. Uh, finished off the coconuts. The Morcellas are just not selling. I did sell like 6,000 though for roughly 66.75 each. And now they're just slowly selling at about 6,500. So I will be back when they actually finish. I'll meet you guys there. So I finished selling them at uh, I think 60. 200 no wait no 6400 or so so i'm pretty happy with that i i could care less about like the two mil three mil that i last uh, lost i can make that later on it doesn't really affect me but i did finish everything out at 170 something mil um 170.4 so i did drop like i think five mil or so you know, like i said uh, i don't really mind that's only five mil it doesn't really affect me that much i know I, i'm really an impatient person when it comes to like selling things especially on video like i don't want to wait two hours you know to finish this commentary i want to do it in like one sitting so that's why i did it that way but um now that i have the money and this video is going way too long because i just ramble like a maniac uh let's go into the ge and buy some magic seeds i uh, you know in retrospect i mean this video does seem pretty boring but i guess it's more of an update just showing you guys what the hell is happening and i, ha I hope it still like is uh you know interesting for you but let's uh check the magic uh seeds pardon the uh keyboard sound it's pretty loud and uh, this is why I'm buying them. They're actually pretty cheap right now. I'll try 135k. Uh, other than that, I hope, uh, you know, I'm going to buy one. See how much they sell for. Uh, so they sell for 132. I can go with that. I'm fine. I was expecting like 150 each. So I'm I'm well, uh, well good with that. Or, you know, that's really bad wording. But you get my point. Uh, let's buy the remaining uh, 1199 or something, whatever. So I'll put them at 133 flat. So uh, just get some change on the end. Once I'm done, okay, so 11.99. that was what I was thinking it was going to be, so I'm pretty happy with uh, how that's going to turn out. That's 160 mil for 14 mil farming. I am definitely down with that. And it looks like they're selling pretty slowly. I think it is like 100 per hour, or every four hours, so I will just leave this in here and just wait it out. But um, as for money later on that I'm going to need, because this is one of the goals that I wanted to, you know, just get rid of uh, while I have the chance, um... The next goal is to make one or two thousand overloads soon. I will probably pay for that pretty soon with, uh, you know, Slayer and whatever stuff uh, during the double XP weekend. If I can't, then I will probably sell some gear and uh, pay it for it that way. But uh, other than that, I do need to buy like uh, I think twenty-four bonds it is or something once uh, December ro uh, rolls around, so I can buy the one-year membership. Because as you guys probably know, I do buy my me my membership through bonds. 
and doing the one-year package is the cheapest. And I missed it last year, so yeah, okay. Uh, I need to really do it this year. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was, you know, kind of straightforward and it was just me showing my loot uh, from my farming and stuff. And, uh, you know, shows you guys how much you can make from farming. And I hope it does, uh, like, encourage you guys to actually go out there and do some farming because, uh, you know, Farming Master over here, I do want everyone else to do farming as well because it is really fun. So on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Most likely a loot video. I think I do have the uh, 25 days of boss tasks complete. So that will be tomorrow. Other than that, keep on scaping. Make sure you farm. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.